Hello, today I want to show you the difference between a spur and a planetary gear set. On the right hand side we have a PX60 Stealth Gen 2 gearhead. On the left hand side we have a NEMA inline spur gearhead. First I want to show you the planetary gear set. This is a uh, Stealth Gen 1 that's been prepped for disassembly. Do not take these apart in the field. They are high accuracy servo class gear heads. Normally these would be filled with oil or grease and so when you open them up they, it will uh, make a mess. We do offer repairs at our factory in New Ulm, Minnesota where the gear heads are manufactured. If you want to send them in for repair, contact your local park or ATC. You can see the The sun gear is, the ring gear is cut into the cast housing ensuring highest torsional rigidity on the gear head and then the planetary gears are captured in what we call the carrier. The carrier is really the heart of the gear head. The tolerances for the um, locations for the sun gears are held within the micron tolerancing for the best gear mesh possible. The planetary gears you can see are not straight cut but actual heel, helical cut gears. This ensures a long line of contact giving very long life and very quiet operation. And you can see that there's actually three planetary gears that ride around that help transmit the power through the gear head. So there's three gears for the one input sun gear that gives the longest life of the gear heads. Put this aside. This is a Bayside Spur gear head. It's uh, in line. This has been modified so it has an input shaft where a motor would normally mount into it and here we have the input gear. This would normally clamp down onto the motor shaft and you can see the mating gears. This is a 10 to 1 ratio so we do offer all the way up to 100 to 1 ratio on this series gear heads. There's also a right angle version, the NR series and the higher the ratio the more the spur gears but you can see that there is one gear mating up to the input gear and those are straight cut gears because of that the accuracy isn't as high nor is the torsional rigidity as high so these are typically used step motor applications or where you just need a speed reducer so that shows you the difference between a spur and a planetary gear set. The other item that I'll add is that these are not worm driven gear heads. That they are high efficiency gear heads. They can be back driven. If you want to take a look at the planetary gear set, the take the output side and actually turn it. They can easily be back driven. So these are actually very high efficiency, over 90% efficiency gear heads. And on the spur, this might be a little bit easier to see with a piece of tape on the input side. I can just turn it by hand. This is a 10 to 1. So with a higher efficiency, there's less losses through the gear head so you're not paying for extra power on your electric motor to drive the load.